what's up everybody welcome to bcm this is michael it's been a while but i'm back remember to like share and subscribe happy new year everybody stick around to the end to see what the experts have to say i'll put a timestamp below but first i'll break down what i think saturday the 13th of february is the date and united kingdom is the place that will host a featherweight 10 round showdown between josh the leeds warrior warrington and mauricio bronco lara it will be a matchup between world ranked featherweight number one in warrington and world ranked number 25 in the much younger lara the event, put together by Eddie Hearn's Matchroom Boxing, will see Warrington and Lara in what looks like will now be the penultimate fight before Lee Wood and Reese Mould take to the ring in their 12-round bout for the vacant British Boxing Board of Control featherweight title, a title held previously by the likes of Warrington, uh, Ryan Walsh, and Lee Selby. Um, there are no titles on the line in this replacement fight in which Warrington was originally scheduled to fight Sue Can in an IBF WBA featherweight unification belt and for the Ring Magazine featherweight belt, if I remember correctly. Josh, the Leeds Warrior. What you Sam? You the old You You are fantastic. You are fantastic. You're playing shit because you've got no fans. What and do you want? You're a load of If you want some, I'll give it to you. Do you want to do with me? Uh, no, that's the Wheelstone Raider. Josh, the Leeds Warrior Warrington, has a record of 30 and 0 with seven knockouts. At regional level, he has held the British Commonwealth and European, as well as WBC international featherweight titles between 2013 and 2017. And as of January 2021, he also held the IBF featherweight belt before vacating it which was met with criticism and accusations that Warrington was dodging his IBF mandatory Abdul Bari Awad, aka Kid Galahad, aka Barry, and avoiding a rematch of their first bout when Warrington won a close fight by split decision. To be fair, the replacement fight with Lara probably deflated Warrington, who had been in training camp to fight Zhu Can. Can decided he can't and pulled out of the fight sometime in December and to try and uh, uh, and arrange a bout with his mandatory at the time, Kip Galahad, if the discussions were to replace Can with Galahad, would have meant a different training camp as he would be fighting a different fighter to Zhu Can. And if this meant rescheduling the fight date, then that would have meant a further delay uh, to an already disrupted boxing career as Warrington's last fight was in October 2019 and we are in January 2021. Ultimately, a fighter and his team managed a strategy that makes the most sense for the fighter's career. I'm sure they weighed up all the options and obviously thought that this was the best route to take. Warrington's resume is a decent one with wins over such fighters as the aforementioned Kid Galahad, Lee Selby and Carl Frampton. He has been in some wars like his bouts with Frampton and Selby, and if you haven't seen those fights, I suggest you check them out. Warrington possesses impressive footwork, and his ability to remain balanced during an exchange with, a, with an opponent is something to see. He plants his feet and drops low, attacking the body and head with hooks and overhand left and right. Although he doesn't possess the greatest power, his technique and volume, particularly in a flurry during exchange, overwhelms the other fighter, with, uh, which compensates for the lack of sting in his punch. He disrupts his opponent's rhythm, or I should say, he prevents his opponents from getting into rhythm well, and often starts to fight quickly, getting into his opponent's face. He uses his jab effectively and enjoys fighting in the pocket, particularly when he is confident that his opponent lacks the power to hurt him, and he does have a decent chin also, but Warrington can also throw wildly and standing stationary in front of his opponent during an exchange, regardless of their power or lack thereof, is a problem for Warrington, as it opens him up and leaves him vulnerable. Not a lot is known about Mauricio Bronco Lara, other than he is ranked number four in Mexico in the featherweight division and 25 in the world rankings. He has a record of 21 wins with 14 KOs and two losses, one by way of knockout. Fighting out of Mexico, his fights have pretty much all taken place in his home country, so fighting in the UK and in his opponent's backyard will be extra pressure for the young Mexican. 
At just 22 years of age, he is much younger than Warrington, who is 30 years of age. Uh, this is a massive opportunity for the Mexican to show the world what he is made of, and despite being the obvious underdog, he can show some of that typical Mexican warrior spirit and tough durability that Mexican fighters are renowned for and make a good account of himself. There may not be any belts on the line, but there will be TV exposure. There isn't too much footage available of Lara, but from what I have seen, he is a come forward fighter who carries some power in both hands and with 14 knockouts, presumably of other tough and durable Mexican fighters, this should be something for Warrington to look out for, as Lara has knocked out more than half of his opponents. Lara looks like he can also take a shot, so that will also be a factor. Lara's resume is a veritable who's who list of, no disrespect, complete nobodies. And he has not participated in any 12 round fights. So this will be a massive jump up in class for Lara. And although he won't be expected to win, it will at least be a fairly decent payday for him. If I'm wrong, I'm happy to eat a bowl full of skin flakes with almond milk. But this will be a straightforward win for Warrington, whose experience, skill and class far exceeds Lara. Before we hear from the experts, a reminder that if you want to show your support, you can like, share and subscribe. And if you want to become a member of the Patreon family and help this channel to grow, you can check out the link below. Life is a fight outside the ring, and if you are struggling with depression, anxiety, substance abuse, low self-esteem, debt, sleepless nights, and so much more, I can tell you I have been there, and I have some crazy stories to share, but more importantly, I turned my life around, and my experiences might help you to do the same. You can find out in my book, How to Get Out of Life Traps. It's available on Amazon. Just follow the link below.